Speak to me, speak to me and let it in. My name is Lupe Sanchez, um, and this show, Por Que No Comes, is my one-man show. Uh, it is based on my mom's philosophy in life, which is that anything that is ever wrong with you happens because you don't eat. Um, it's a comedy. It's embellished. It's exaggerated. It's got a spiritual twist. It'll make you laugh, cry, and probably sprinkle yourself. A big influence for the show was John Leguizamo's Freak. I also admire Tyler Perry's uh, style of comedy because it adds a spiritual element, as well as Christopher Titus and his ability to find humor through pain. So I wanted to create something that encompasses all those figures and their style of comedy to create this. It, I started writing it maybe back in 2008, 2009 and it's been running since late 2010, 2011 till today. A lot of writing. Uh, the first script was 100 pages. I had to cut it down to 24. So there's a lot of material that didn't make the show and it was hard. Uh, it was a lot of rehearsal, a lot of memorization, constant changes. No two shows were the same. We added Audio, audio editing, we added lighting, uh, different props, uh, so it was a lot of work, you know. You know, it's for the people, you know, there's something about entertaining, there's something within me that likes being in front of people. And I don't want to be like other comedians that just go out there and tell jokes. I want people to walk away with a message with being inspired. I want them to be better human beings for watching my show uh, when they came in. So it is, I try to take what my experience is, but also kind of see it through their eyes to make it as relatable as possible. And uh, hopefully in, they walk away with something um, that they could take home with. You know, there's the shows about unexpected things that happen. And through the production of this show, I was, I had to deal with bad weather, being sick, you know, switching tech people, switching stages, uh, you name it. There was a lot of drama. And uh, so I guess it's kind of the material in the show is evident throughout its production as well. Expect the unexpected and be ready for it. But at the same time, nothing in life is ever that serious. It was the one show I did in the suburb, and everything went perfect. Like, that never happened. I was like, what? I mean, the, the crowd was awesome. The tech was on point. There was no issue to deal with. It's just, I got to do more gigs in the suburbs. The people that I want to thank for uh, Porque No Comas is uh, Oliver um, Aldape. He's the guy that first directed the show. He's the one that I came with a 100 page script and when I read it to him, ended up being, he sat through about four hours, four to five hours. <laughs> like, poor guy. <laughs> John Aldrey is an awesome director. Uh, he helped, uh, obviously helped t tweak it a lot. Jimmy Chung, who uh, was a big part in um, just helping me out with uh, a lot of the small things. Oh, Janet Lee, who uh, was an awesome support, randomly bring us food, so kept me healthy. Por no come? All the fans of the different tech people, uh, Nosa, uh, Joe Kane, um, Doug Martha, my mom for being her, my dad, uh, my family, God, ADD, Dirty Underwear, Tooth Decay. How many things to be thankful for? I'm excited that it's my last show, uh, bittersweet, um, because it's been a long run. I'm looking to move on to something different. Thankful for the experience. I learned a lot. It's something that I could look back and tell my kids that this is something that I did and achieved. I got newspaper clippings, videos. Uh, it was a blessing to do. So uh, looking back, I'm 
excited and happy that I was able to uh, have a vision and inspiration and a thought and manifest it into reality and really just uh, see someone that I admire and say, I could do that and actually do it. Thank you everybody for coming out. I know I was annoying sending you text message, emails, Facebooks, giving you flyers, getting in your face, stalking you, watching you sleep at night. I know I was annoying, I'm sorry, but I hope for you, for those of you that actually watched it, did appreciate it, did enjoy it, did walk away with something, and that you guys are just the biggest blessing. I'm so humbled and thankful that you guys um, supported me, so God bless you guys. Man. Oh hey, come on in. This is the dressing room before the show. I was just getting my uh, face beautified. Uh, there's beer bottles, there's loose change, there's Abraham Lincoln, stunt double. Uh, as far as how I prepare, I kind of run through my lines, um, get myself hyped up, throw boxing punches, uh, pee a little, but I wear a Thick underwear so it's all good so yeah it's very absorbent I depends rocks I need to be your spokesperson because I use them and they work and as soon as my name gets called I come through here open the curtain and then bam. and uh, this is actually a packed house for me I like to stretch. So, a lot of people, when they come to my show, they ask, what is in Lupe's secret prop basket? Well, this is exclusive footage. There is the amazing underwear, my dad's underwear. And because I'm a method actor, that, that's real. Then there are my underwear. Hello! Glasses, candy, sandal, highlighter. A pen and a sharpie. The pen is mightier than the sword, but the sharpie is mightier than the pen because it's permanent. Bam! What? I'm not that flexible. <laughs>